FP4F started out great. We had this amazing crowdfunding campaign where we made a silly four-part workout video set in the FP universe to help raise funds for the film. Welcome to DuckFit, baby. <laughs> All right, here we go, everybody. F peeps, who we called silver screen muggers, came out from all over the country who donated to the campaign to help be in the film and bring this to life. And we're like, great, this is awesome. Let's go make our silly sci-fi you know, adventure film. And then COVID hit about one week into production and we were left with one big question, which was, how do we finish a big, silly sci-fi adventure film in a living room painted green with four people? At this point, we were in pre-production and everything was going great. Our producer and all-around art department genius wizard, Michael Lee, informed us that he was about to tear down his house and build a new one in his place. At which point he offered to let us use the house in the backyard for whatever we needed on the film. And thus we turned the property into our official FP backlot. We had sets and workshops, building props in the backyard, sets in the garage, and of course, a big empty living room. I knew the scope of these movies were going to be bigger than anything I'd ever made before, and I wanted to use some green screen throughout the movie to help accomplish this. So we went to the hardware store and got about, you know, 20 gallons of green house paint and just started going to work on our producer's living room, and before we knew it, we had a 360 green screen. But, you know, shortly into production, when the pandemic hit, we decided, well, we already have this green living room, so why don't we just quarantine together with our four-person crew and just make the entire rest of this film in the living room. We got to the point where we finished shooting the movie, which, you know, is usually a big relief, but I had one really big problem. I had an entire movie with no backgrounds. At first I thought I'd just build some miniatures and use some trick photography and a lot of smoke and that would be that and would, everything would work out fine. But, you know, as I got into it and started experimenting and learning how far I could push things in post-production, I decided to take my miniature work to the next level and integrate it with photo and video plates to make everything feel, in my opinion, more real. So I'd go out during the pandemic with just me and my wife and we'd hike around to these really cool landscapes in the middle of nowhere and we'd take pictures and then I'd bring them back home to the apartment and start building our world on the computer. I'd start with a picture or video plate I took out in the field and then go through the library of pictures from various vacations and whatnot that I've had over the years and I'd crop out whatever set pieces or props or anything that was interesting I thought went along with the movie. I'd add the miniatures that we built into the backgrounds of the shots and then slowly I'd make my way to the foreground and then once I was happy with kind of the, you know, the skeleton of the frame, I'd start adding weather and lighting and smoke effects and whatever I could to bring the picture to life to make it some sort of living Photoshop. I continued to use this method throughout the film, cataloging pictures I'd taken, experimenting with lighting and blending and effects techniques. And basically, this movie never once touched After Effects or any other VFX program. I did the entire movie, everything you see, inside of Final Cut Pro X, sometimes having upwards of 100 video layers creating this video Photoshop effect and bringing the pictures to life. I'm super happy and proud of what we achieved in this movie because I feel like with the situation we're presented and this process that I developed along the way, it's given this movie a truly unique look and with a feel that mixes old school and new school VFX technology into something completely doable for anyone, you know, with a computer and a can-do attitude. Yeah, so TLDR, that's why we went ahead and made a big, silly sci-fi adventure film with three or four people during COVID in uh, living room painted green.